Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be teaching the mobile communication technologies and basically and we will be understanding what are the different generations of mobile telecommunication. So by generation, I mean the G in 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G and 5G right now. Okay. So what do we mean by generation in terms of mobile telecommunication? Generation basically refers to the improvements or those points when landmark achievements have been achieved or landmark achievements were made in this mobile telecommunication technologies and uh, these are the points in history when the way we use mobile telecommunication changed drastically okay so that is why we refer to each period or each era as one generation and after uh, the uh, after one generation gets over the next generation has significant difference as compared to its previous generation so let's start with the first generation of mobile telecommunication which is also referred to as 1g so uh, 1g was the time when we actually began with the mobile systems that was during the year 1982 Okay, so the mobile telecommunication technologies have just come into the picture and at that time only voice calls were possible. Not like today when you can video call, when you can use the internet also on your mobile phones, nothing. Only voice calls were possible and analog signals were used for uh, transmitting voice data also. Okay, so digitalization was not there in terms of signals, no digitization was there. Analog signals were used to carry voices between the sender and the receiver. Now, after the 1G, that means after the first generation came the second generation that is 2G. And this was around the year 1991. Now, what was the significant difference? Apart from voice calls, we also got the facility of SMS, that means short message service and MMS, which is multimedia message service. Okay, so uh, both these services were new add-ons to the voice call facility that we were earlier getting in 1G. Also, the major difference was the use of digital signals instead of analog signals that were being used to carry voice messages or rather uh, the voice calls that were being performed using digital signals and in the when uh, transmission is done in the in the form of digital signals the call quality improves also the bandwidth that means the capacity of the channel also increased that means more number of people could talk simultaneously so i don't know if you have ever gone through that time when you used to make a call and the operator from the other end the recorded message used to say that all lines are currently busy please try after some time so that was the time when a major improvement was seen in this particular scenario that more people could connect with different people across the globe and that could that was being made possible simultaneously okay so uh, three major differences i have told you till now voice plus message plus mms then use of digital signals and the uh, increased capacity and quality the next major difference as compared to 1G is the signal encryption. So till now, till uh, or before 2G, there was no signal security. But from 2G, we started encrypting the signal, the digital signal. And encrypting means no one in the middle could be able to, uh, you know, understand what communication is happening. So your security of communication was enhanced in 2G. All right. Now, after 2G came the third generation, which is 3G. And this was somewhere around the year 2001. Now, 3G gave us, apart from the digital signal, digital voice, the data services, the internet packs started coming in and uh, the internet access was made available through the same radio towers that were providing the voice service also, okay? So, uh, there was a time when you used to search a nearby tower so that you can get a signal or get the internet access, okay? Now, 
the in third generation definitely there was an improvement in the capacity that means the number of calls that were being made simultaneously uh, the voice capacity uh, sorry the voice quality and the data capacity so this should be quality okay so both the uh, improvement in data capacity and voice quality more simultaneous calls were possible and the internet speed was also faster okay so there were pr provisions where you could get fast internet access even on your mobile devices now comes 4g the fourth generation that we are many of us are using we are in that transition phase when we are going from this fourth generation to 5 uh, 5g which is the fifth generation now the fourth generation currently has a faster internet access as compared to 3g it not only has voice messages sms uh, or message normal text messages it also offers video interactive media and wireless internet okay so you can f send all kinds of uh, gifs you can send any kind of motion videos uh, motion pictures and so on so interactive media video conferencing everything is possible through mobile telecommunication okay now this is the current phase that we are in this is as of now and even today uh, the phase is transitioning to fifth generation so there are mobile phones and devices that are coming up that uh, you know are capable of providing 5g connectivity if you have the uh, facility from your provider and this is the current transition that is happening it is currently under development its scalability is being looked into as of 2022 and fifth generation internet is basically aimed at the future so in future as we know we'll see the growth of artificial intelligence machine communication so m2m is machine to machine communication and iot is internet of things so in future different devices will be communicating they will be forming their own networks and that will it, it is supposed that it will benefit us in many ways and it will uh, give us better services also so our life is uh, aimed to improve using 5th g and telecommunication services that are developed now and uh, the fifth generation is no doubt being uh, focused on being faster than 4g so with every generation we aim to at least keep the quality and the data transfer rate higher than the previous generation with providing additional services and as of now most of our homes have uh, uh, speed internet speed in mbps whereas 5, 5g or the fifth generation aims to give you speed in gigabits per second that is gbps okay so that's all for today's lecture today we studied different generations of mobile telecommunication in the next video, we will be studying about protocols, different protocols that govern the, uh, you know, data communication between devices. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exam.